Alright, so it's what allowed here at Sutra with terminology here for the mixtape release party, Dilla Tribute. What's good, man? Chilling, man. Feeling like a million bucks, baby. Alright, so um, we caught up like a while ago and the footage disappeared, unfortunately. So we're gonna try this again, but um, I want to talk. I want to talk some about the mixtape and everything. Um, tell me like where the concept, the concept really came from, and and why you decided to do it right now. Well, you know, uh, the whole Jay Dilla thing was. Um, I'm heavily influenced by Jay Dilla, and um, even before I even read credits, when I was a young boy, I just love his beats. I love the vibe, and once I really realized who he was, you know, a lot of people didn't really realize who Jay Dilla was till he passed, and then they're like, oh, he did that. So if you're a little kid, like eight years old, like like that, and then it takes you to be a grown up to be like, oh shit, that was the shit I was rocking to when I was a little boy. And I realized how special he was. And uh, my DJ, Static Selector, he sold me a computer. And in the computer, I had about 400 J. Dilla beats. Wow. So I was like, oh <laughs> shit. So, you know, some of the beats, I guess, were unreleased, so I couldn't use them. Which was fine with me. So that I, was like, which was okay, you know what I'm saying? So I leaned back from the ones that, uh, I, you know, that I couldn't use, and right. I tried to use more ones that was already out, like Buster Rounds had used, or whoever else, you know what I'm saying? Right. And, um, you know, I just threw together this little tape, I called it If Heaven Was A Mile Away, meaning like, you know, if he was alive, I could've really reached out to him, and yeah. try to work with him, you know what I'm saying? And um, it came out crazy, dog, it came out crazy. And, yeah, um, it's dope, now, now, I haven't had a chance to listen the entire thing through, but, you know, a couple tracks, you know, six or seven of them, the couple of ones that stood out, I had, um, yeah, there it is. You got the... <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. No problem, man. That's cartoon term. You know what I mean? And this, this is cartoon. Jay Dillo looking down at the sky for me. It's about a mile away. Right. And if you open it up, you see me right here. And, and, you know what I'm saying? I said, well, I'm out of go. So, no. I'm, wa I'm walking out. Uh, I'm walking to go see the God Jay Dillo in the sky. You feel me? Yeah. All right, that's dope. So, you know, it's cool, man. It's a good concept. Yeah. All right, so, so we had to switch locations. They kicked us out of the stairwell. That's what they usually do. We got some light. So tell me, you know, tell me a little bit about Say It and, and like the recording experience of all that. Like, did you have everybody in the lab with you? Like, what was the deal? How that, that go down? What do you think? I thought it was dope. I thought, I mean, I, I, I don't know. Yeah, it, it was like that. Well, um, just seeing us, uh, I needed to get the record done in like three days. And um, Joella Tease is from Brooklyn. She goes, she's from Yonkers. Uh, Philadelphia Freeways from Philly. I'm from Boston. Uh, Bun B's from Houston. Uh, Saigon is from New York. There's pretty much no way we could have all been in the lab together. But um, you know that that don't really matter. What really matters is we made a classic. And um, say it's just so crazy, dog. And like, yeah. so you see the hunger in, in these rappers that have been in the game for like 10 years, like Sheik Luch and Bun B. And they're doing more than 16s, they're doing 24s each. Yeah. Like, coming at me, like, yo, you little motherfucker, you, you know what I mean? You think you, you, think you nice? Alright. So, you know, shit like that, you know what I mean? Alright, so, Red Matt, the tour, you, you said you just got off. Like, what, what was that like? Great. <laughs> Crazy. I heard, I heard they smoke weed. Like, yeah, a lot of weed. <laughs> a lot of people getting knocked out. Word. You know, uh, a lot of orgies. Wow. I, you know, not me, but you know, <laughs> just people I know and shit. So you know, it was crazy though. 60 days, it's like 40 venues. Red and Mav, I, I, I opened up, I got a half hour every day. Wow. Tore it down. Official open up, jumping in the crowd and shit. It's crazy, man. But so, so hot, like, you know, you've been grinding for a while. Is that, you know, like, would you call that, like, a, like a, a tour highlight thus far? And, and, like, where you're at right now? Like, that's the biggest thing you, you probably, like. Tour wise, yeah. Yeah. That's the okay. biggest shit I've ever done, yeah. Uh, how many people, like, per night? Like, 2,000. Wow. Sold out every night. You know, there, there was very, very few shows, maybe like two or three that wasn't like sold out. You yeah. know what I mean? But they love Red and Meth, man. And Red and Meth are the greatest performance uh, ever. Word. They get it popping. Word. All right, so like I know, you know, you're heavy, you're heavy like on the web, like your presence, like you know. Dan does a great job, like, you know, getting you out there. Like, there's a lot of kind of stuff going on right now as far as, like, internet beef. You know, you got, like, Joe and, and, and Ransom, people like that. 
Do you have like thoughts on on internet beef in general? Like, does, is it useful? Is it is it like pointless? Like, you know, what's what's your stance on like, you know, carrying on conversations like over the web and things like that? Speaking of which, God. I don't know, man. Only thing I know is I just try to stay out of beef. Cause I had enough beef in my in my real life. Yeah. Not even my rap life. You know what I mean? So if a rapper wanna come at me, good luck. Cause I be tearing niggas up. I ain't even trying. You know what I mean? I, I do hundred bars in my sleep. Right. You know, but on the physical level, beef is beef, man. And whether you see niggas getting knocked out online or people threatening each other. I mean, online is just like. How do you feel like it affects hip hop as a culture, though? It's like that like, type uh, of stuff. Well, man, I don't know. Like, I, I take it seriously. Like, if somebody's like, "Yo, I got beef with term," I take that shit very seriously. So, I, you know what I'm saying? I try not to feed into any little shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, like shit I hear online. Like, let's say somebody would be like, "Oh, fuck term," and I hear they say, "All right, cool, fuck you too," but right. as long as they don't fuck with me. I don't give a fuck what the niggas gotta say, man. Alright. No doubt. All right, People well, take that shit too literal. That's what I'm saying, bro. Yeah, okay. Don't take that shit too literal, bro. That shit's WWE, man. These niggas <laughs> be sitting down having lunch with each other. <laughs> no doubt. Alright, man. Well, again, congratulations on a mixtape. You know, it's dope. Like, you know, big things in 2009 in store, so. Yes, sir. Thank you, man. Alright. Much love.